Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cheyenne. I like to share tips, tricks, daily life with a toddler. Um, but today, I wanted to go over kind of, um, firstly, my review of the Juvie Cool, um, and then also kind of show how I would pack it up, or I guess my stroller setup, for um, like a day out with my little one or if we were to take take the stroller to Disney um, I did recently purchase this I actually got it on Facebook marketplace um the juvie cool this one specifically usually goes I believe it's about three hundred dollars and I found it for hundred and fifty it has probably it's so lightly used like I could completely tell um, it's in great condition I made sure it was safe for my little one and um, <clears throat> the seller was also really highly rated on Facebook marketplace so I felt confident and comfortable in that um, <laughs> we have purchased quite a few strollers um, we first had the I think it's either like the Chico or Kiko I've seen it pronounced both ways um, the Bravo mini that one was her like infant car seat and stroller together um, and then I do also have a baby trend jogging stroller um i do love that one because the wheels are actual like tire wheels like bike tires they do um it's a smoother ride we did take that one to disneyland in october of last year um and bella took her nap in it it was super easy um it was especially convenient when it unexpectedly started to rain in southern california and we had to like bolt it back to our hotel um super easy and convenient but I did, um, I did look into this one specifically because of how compact it was as well, um, as the weight because, I mean, I'm sure as a mom, you know, lifting those strollers sometimes, especially when you have your little one crying, like you just want something that's going to like fold up quickly and you throw in the car. Um, my Kiko one, it was very nice and convenient. It did only fold like in half like together which it did fold up pretty small however my trunk in my car is smaller than I had originally anticipated <laughs> so it would take up like my entire trunk the same thing with my jogging stroller um so I wanted to just look into something that was more compact I really was doing my research on Juvie because I had seen it from other moms on YouTube but um the reviews like on their website on really anywhere that you can find it have been no less than five stars so um i felt comfortable and confident in the quality what i was getting um the functionality of it has been amazing as well um my little one sleeps just fine in this and the visor this was the big selling point for me because finding a visor that goes down far enough bella's not all that tall <laughs> me and my husband are not tall people I am five foot zero um, and he is about five foot eight so he has a little bit of height to him but um, Bella she's she ha while she has long legs she is rather small for her age I've seen like other like 16 to 18 month olds and they just tower her <laughs> and I feel so bad because that's how I was when I was little um, but this visor I can't, you know, just goes all the way down like it is so close to like it's just close to this I on my other one my Kiko and my baby trend one um I had to put like I put her swaddle kind of over like her muslin swaddles to kind of give her like that extra shade um especially like in the summer here it gets so hot so it was um this was really nice and the material of it is also it's like thin and breathable um it doesn't seem like it will overheat her too much um, but of course in the summer we do set up with like the stroller fan and whatnot, all the goods. Um, the, it's a, I mean the whole thing is just really breathable and it's just nice. Um, I really like it, but overall, um, I was very happy with my purchase. Um, a big one was that the foot like rest kind of part, it does go up and down. Like it doesn't drop down too, too much, but like if I want her to like, her feet can just chill and rest or like kick her feet up when she's sleeping and her legs aren't like dangling there um that's super uncomfortable I wouldn't want to sleep like that so I'm 99% confident my little one doesn't want to either um the tray does also come off or you can kind of just like just that button there we go move it to the side or just fully take it off um, and I was looking on the Juvie website 
and on their website itself they do um have a piece that's kind of like this tray um but it's just like almost like a metal bar and it will adapt to I think it said like 40 different brands of the infant car seats so when we when and if we do have another one um I might look into that before like upgrading to like the double stroller um but I also have had my eye on that because we do want a little one eventually um so that it's super easy you just pop it right in Bella loves to um if I like load her in like with this to the side she likes to go ahead and swing it and click it herself and like it's so easy to click in that a 16 month old can do it so if she can do it you can do it <laughs> um the next thing that I wanted to point out here as well is when this is down it has like this extra little visor piece um but don't mind my dog he's taking a nap um it has a little peekaboo window and it's so clear like you can see right down into it um so I do like that to like see if if I'm trying to fight with her to get her to take her nap in her stroller or she doesn't want to take a nap at home I try to get her down in her stroller and then I'll like move her to her crib when we get back um so it is really nice to kind of like silently peek on her um it does also have this cup holder back here I haven't used it um because I do use my stroller caddy um because I like to the sturdiness of it is a little better than this that's my only default it is pretty sturdy but I probably really wouldn't put anything in there and then it has this little storage pouch here um which I keep the little if we do want the um the tray fully off it does come with these little covers for the holes which is really nice so that way little one doesn't stick their fingers in because you know they just like to find anything and any everything and ev anything I cannot talk today I'm also getting over a cold and I'm pretty sure I'm losing my voice um but I do like that so that she can't really like stick her fingers in there be too curious about it and then the handles are padded super easy I can easily push this with one hand um every day multiple times a day probably except today because it's pouring <laughs> I will take Bella out with our dog I can easily push this with one hand hold him with the other do what I need to do um and it just makes it easy the storage bin on the bottom as well it does if you can hear it it does have like that plastic kind of lining so it's super sturdy um on my jogging show my baby trend that one has um it's just like the not mesh but like just like that basket material underneath and I had something down there and one like it has like two buttons on my baby or my baby trend one and it broke I had the stroller for like two weeks and it literally popped because and I don't think I was at capacity with the weight limit or anything but it was just one of those things that I was like oh okay well glad I didn't pay so much for this stroller um and then it does have the one foot brake system which is nice instead of having to like do the two it's just convenient when I need to like stop real quick um but and then this part this string here just goes over like pulling it down and then when that is down like they are almost laying completely flat which is super super nice um Bella likes to be a little elevated when she's napping so it works how she's like a little propped up she likes to sleep on a pillow she has for months now actually I know we actually were told by her pediatrician when she has a cold to put her on a pillow to kind of elevate her to like get that congestion going um but yeah let's go ahead and jump into how I set the stroller up I do also one last thing <laughs> because I do want to show how it folds up before let's get the there we go okay Okay, so there's this little nut button on the top. You have to slide that over, push it in, and then it literally, there you go. And like, it is so small. <laughs> this takes up no room in my car. And then it does have this latch that it automatically hooks onto the little button here. So that like, it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna fall on my kid. It's not gonna do anything. And then you just, and that's it like it's so easy so simple I love it it's great um, but let's go ahead and jump into 
how I set this bad boy up. So first thing, I actually got this for as a free gift from Petunia. Um, I have a problem with Petunia stuff, but it is what it is. I enjoy their products, the quality. It's really, really good. So that, I'm also filming this in my room that I do also have her crib in. Um, but this, I usually will just pop on there in case there's something we need to just hook on, whatever we gotta do. Um, I'll usually go ahead and slide it over to the other side. The next thing that I do put on is this little extra stroller caddy. Um, I, when we went to Disneyland, I put this on and it carried like her bubble wand, any like snacks that we wanted to grab quickly. Um, cause I will usually put her, I guess I can go there. I will usually put, um, on the very bottom of the basket, a rain cover. Um, especially with all of the crazy rain we've been getting in California. We've never, at least in my 27 years, we have not had this much rain in a very long time. Um, but that just pops on like so. Just this little extra thing. I do, just so that they're all in one place, store my stroller straps in here. Um, and then those I will just usually pop on here. I do like these stroller straps. Um, they are <laughs> Petunia Pickle Bottom, but they, um, they're very, the quality is just, it's really nice. Like I'm definitely someone that will pay for a good quality item because I just think that, I don't want to say like waste the money. I will definitely wait for things to go on sale with Petunia. Like, um, in my method diaper bag video, I waited for that aerial print to go on sale and then I used like a discount code on top of it. So it was really nice. I got it for really, really cheap. Um, but those just, oops, those just pop on here. I guess I could get a better angle. Maybe there. There we go. Okay. So I have those on here. This I will usually just pop the straps on. Her diaper bag will just hang like so. Um, I do like, I have noticed that when I have her diaper bag strapped here, when I had it on the other two strollers, the baby trend and the Kiko, her stroller would literally like fall back. And while yes, I do pack her diaper bag to a T. However, I would throughout the day, you empty stuff out. Like she wants her snacks. She wants her water. Like things are all up in the front, but it did not matter. Like how light it was, it would just fall right back. And this one is so sturdy. Like it doesn't. I don't know how it doesn't because like the angle of it. I don't know. I'm not a math person, so that's fine. Um, and then I do also haven't really tried this yet, but I've seen plenty of others using these. Um, you can actually also hook this on with the stroller straps if you want. They would just go to the side or they do have this part that will just hook onto the stroller itself around and there you go um but this I'm thinking I want to use it because this pocket here I don't think is sturdy enough I can easily fit like my water bottle in here and like something else and it will just be more secure I feel like in here my water bottle is a little thinner it's like a 22 ounce but like it's a thinner I don't want to say barrel, but I guess like tumbler to begin with. Um, so for that, I think it would fall out of this. I haven't tried it because I don't want to ruin my water bottle and let it like fall just to see if like testing. Um, but yeah, that will just hook on right here if I want to wear the diaper bag or I can honestly put the diaper bag underneath and that I'll still have room. Um, so even with all of this stuff on here, I can still just, and that's it. Like, this will be so nice when we just like go places, go to Disney, go to um, the aquarium, the zoo, wherever we decide we are going. But that is gonna do it for today's video. If you did like this and if it was helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you do have one of these or if it's been interest, or if you've had interest in it. 
Um, I will also link below um, the actual like Juvi website for this where I got everything else on here because it's all either Petunia Pickle Bottom or I think actually this was Amazon for like $10. So for extra storage, I will pay $10. <laughs> um, but thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.